Many people pay attention to inflation forecasts. They want to know what inflation is predicted to be so they can make the best plans with their hard-earned money. Inflation complicates planning for the future. You might think inflation will be 2% and plan how far a given amount of money will go. But if inflation turns out to be higher than you expected, the same amount of money won't buy as much. Conversely, if inflation turns out to be lower than you expected, you'll be able to buy more with that same amount of money. Unfortunately, inflation is extremely difficult to forecast accurately. Recently, researchers have been looking at ways to improve forecasts of inflation. One promising approach is to have more accurate estimates of inflation right now. You'd think data on inflation right now would be easy to get, but it isn't. The official word on what inflation is doesn't get released until well after the fact. For example, measures of the rate of inflation in, say, January are only available sometime in February. So Cleveland Fed researchers have been working on a way to better estimate what inflation is right now. These estimates of current inflation are called nowcasts. Nowcasts aim to give a good idea of what inflation is today, before the official data are released. Good nowcasts can help improve inflation forecasts far out into the future. The Cleveland Fed presents nowcasts of today's inflation in terms of four pretty well-known measures of inflation. The Consumer Price Index, or CPI. The CPI minus food and energy prices, which people call the core CPI. The Personal Consumption Expenditures Price Index, or PCE. The PCE minus food and energy prices, aka the core PCE. Obviously, a nowcast is still a forecast, and no nowcast is ever going to be 100% accurate. But our nowcasts have tended to be really accurate, better than an awful lot of statistical models, and in many cases better than surveys of professional forecasters. In fact, our inflation nowcasts have historically tended to be about as accurate as the inflation nowcasts made for the Federal Open Market Committee, or FOMC, for its meetings. You know, meetings where the nation's monetary policy is decided. Here's a general idea of how the Cleveland Fed's inflation nowcasts are made. In a nutshell, there are four parts to the model. One, the first part forecasts core inflation. We use estimates based entirely on the recent past because they do a fairly good job. Two, the second part forecasts food price inflation. Again, we primarily use the recent past to forecast future food price inflation. Three, the third part now casts gasoline price inflation. We use a combination of current gasoline prices and current oil prices. We assume that today's oil prices tell us a lot about where gasoline prices are likely to head in the future. Then we seasonally adjust the data, which is a quick way of saying that we take out predictable seasonal patterns, like when the price of gasoline rises with the spring driving season. Four. Finally, the fourth part combines the nowcasts and forecasts of core inflation, food price inflation, and gasoline price inflation to come up with nowcasts of inflation in either the CPI or PCE price index. With all the pieces in place, those who forecast inflation have another tool to help in making more accurate forecasts of inflation, both today and in the future. And better inflation forecasts will in turn hopefully help those who use forecasts, all the consumers, business people, financial market professionals, pension fund managers, and government officials to make their decisions with greater confidence.